The only side effect I've had is that I lost a bit of weight over time. I'm not going to be able to go back and have the same chemo that I had before because it was so harsh on my body. When you're in my position, you don't know when it's going to be your last anything. So if it is my last Christmas, then I want it to be. Hi. So the first thing I wanted to say is just a massive thank you for watching my previous video i made it for support group and there was about eight of us and i made it to play over zoom because i didn't want to talk live and i just kind of had to tell my story and yeah so i a video for eight people has now been viewed by about a hundred thousand people which is crazy um, so a massive thank you to everybody who watched and has subscribed i've had some people commenting asking for an update here it is i guess so first things first i am okay ish i started chemo as i said in my last video at the end of december so the 23rd of december and i the chemo that i was having was overnight for so three nights four days and it was horrendous and i'll probably make a video about chemo specifically because there's so much to it and I could talk about it forever to be honest especially the first chemo so um yeah I'll save that for another video but I had vied chemo and I had four rounds um, it made me very sick but it also got rid of the like the soft tissue mass that I had and as I said in the last video it has spread and um, so I've got some in my sternum there's some in my upper spine, my lower spine, and there was a really large kind of mass spread around my left hip and into my left bum cheek, basically. So the soft tissue part com was completely gone. They couldn't see it on the scans anymore, which was com like really unexpected because when they first started the chemo and I had to sign the forms, they said they, they didn't think it was gonna work. That was amazing. Um, so I had four rounds out of six. The last two they didn't think would work very well because the first kind of the first two actually got rid of everything, and then the next two didn't. Well, I say got rid of everything. So we got rid of the soft tissue part. The um, the next two didn't really make a difference. So they they just said it because it's making me so sick and quality of life is really important when you're stage four. So I moved on to a chemotherapy called BAC, which I will just like write what it is here because I know it's vincristine, cyclophosphamide and something else. <laughs> I was never really good at learning all the words. Um, some people are really into that and I, I just wasn't. I just wanted it to, to kind of get over with. So I had eight rounds of back. Initially I was really sick and in the end I didn't even feel sick when I had it or afterwards or anything. I have a lot of people kind of telling me to juice and go vegan and just eat meat and just so many different kind of diets and things that I can do um, and I actually juiced for five days before chemo and five days afterwards and I swear that's what made me not feel sick um, because it was the only thing that I did that was different. But yeah, anyway, so I had eight rounds of back and then I took a break because you just can't keep having chemo. Um, but during my chemotherapy, when I was having back, I kind of, it took me maybe a few days to get over the chemo and then I had two and a half weeks until my next round. So we actually spent the whole summer going around in our camper van Rosie. My friends from school, who some of them I haven't seen for 10 years, so it was pretty amazing actually, they created a fundraiser for us because we both lost our jobs. And we bought Rosie and I will show you what we've been up to this summer, I guess. So we headed to the Lake District and spent a few days there kayaking on Lake Windermere, which was really cool. We also spent some time in the Peak District is really close to where my family lives so it was really nice to spend some time there there are some of the lovely views we also went to Wales quite a bit this is in Pembrokeshire so we visited Pembrokeshire with Harry and Rihanna my friends and this is a really cool rock pool that we found near St Gilgan's Chapel my sister loves Wales so 
obviously being in Wales we bumped into her and this is a seven feet hole in the water and at the blue lagoon we also spent some time in North Wales this is the mountain prince train that takes you around Snowdon we also went to Silverstone because we love Formula One we've taken part in some fundraising too for Macmillan we also did the race for life and we went to see Vicky Clyro. We've managed to spend quite a bit of time with my sisters. Um, this is because we all have our own vans the day are together. Here are some really cool pictures that I really like of us in Rosie. One of my favourite pictures. This is real life in a van, I guess. Instead of all the lovely pictures outside and here's some family enjoying a van. We also went to the West Midlands, see some friends. I got to ride a speedboat and here are some random trips that me and Rodian have taken as well together and Harry Potter World of course. And this is my dad and my nan, my cousin. This is a whole other video but I actually only met them this year. So after I finished chemotherapy we had a little break so that was half of August. September and half of October. I've had a PET scan at the beginning of September which shows that nothing is growing at all. It's still in my bones so the chemo didn't get rid of that, it just kind of stopped it from growing for a bit. So during September I celebrated my 28th birthday which was incredible because it's just not something I ever thought that I would ever reach to be honest. When I was told that the cancer was spread the nurse sat me down and said oh like we need to make sure you're comfortable that's the most important thing and another nurse said she wanted to pray for me and and it was it was so sweet and they were lovely but all I was thinking was fuck I'm dead that was it that's why we spent the summer doing crazy amount of things and just making lots and lots of memories and and then I managed to reach my 28th birthday so we had a big party with all my friends and my family. We had a really lovely meal, uh, the best birthday cake I've ever seen. I love Formula One. Uh, we went to Silverstone in the summer, which was just the best experience I've ever had ever. And the, so the cake was a tire, I'll just put a picture, but it was, it was half tire and half a rainbow cake because I love rainbows. So that was really nice. So I, I celebrated my birthday with everyone. And then I started radiotherapy. So I'm currently on round 20, I believe, and I have 30. And it's been okay, radiotherapy. I haven't, the only side effects I've had is that I need to go to the toilet all the time. Uh, I went for a wee like six times in the night. It's not funny, but I kind of find it funny. I don't know. I think because I've had really bad side effects of chemo and I just expected something to hurt or uh, to be tired or feel sick or something but yeah I just need to pee a lot and it's okay things are okay they're not as it's hard like, I think it's getting harder because I initially had all the hope that I was having the treatment and everything was working and every treatment you have you you I think I'm not going to be able to go back and have the same chemo that I had before because it was so harsh on my body. I just, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be able to take that much chemo again. They do say that every treatment you have doesn't work as well as the one before. And obviously that's not a complete given, but the first chemo worked really well. The second one just kept everything stable. So to me, the next lot of chemo I have will either just keep things stable or will not keep anything from growing so it's scary it's really scary but I'm kind of used to it now I've had my diagnosis for 11 months now so you weirdly get used to it and you weirdly although I am aware of it every day I don't think about it all the time I try and keep busy it's hard to keep busy I live so far away from all my friends and my family and I'm having radiotherapy every day so I can't just go off and see everyone and stay with family or friends for a few days but it's all part of it and what can I do? <laughs> I'm just really looking forward to finishing radiotherapy 
and getting ready for Christmas. Last Christmas, I was having chemotherapy and it was my first chemotherapy and it was horrific. So this Christmas, we want it to be really, 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 really special. And when you're in my position, you don't know when it's gonna be your last anything. So if it is my last Christmas, then I want it to be really special because Christmas has always been really important to me. I always want it to be really magical and just to have the most amazing time. So we are planning something really special, hopefully. And I don't think I'll be having any treatment because I finish radiotherapy and then I have a scan six weeks later which falls around Christmas and then when the results come back then we will decide what we're going to do next. Hopefully that means, well I know, I and also if you're going through anything like this you can make decisions so for example if I had a scan on the 23rd of December and they said oh we'll get the results tomorrow, you can say no I don't want them. I want to just enjoy Christmas and I'll speak to you next week or something like that. Like I'll speak to you the week after because it is your life as well and especially if it's not curable, uh, you don't want to be in a position where this completely controls your life, which I thought it did at first and I didn't know that I could kind of turn around and say no to things. So yeah, make sure if you are in this position that it works around you as well. In the new year, I guess we'll have some discussions and depending on what happens with the disease, if it starts growing or not, then I will start a new treatment. Um, but I'm really hoping for a break because it's really nice having a break. I was thinking about another video that I can do if anyone has any questions that they want me to answer. I know things are confusing, especially when they're stage four. So if anyone has any questions about like my diagnosis, my treatment, just life in general, pop them down below or go to my Instagram and private message me as well because I spend a lot of my time on Instagram too. So pop them in there and then when I have, I guess, enough questions to make a video, I will do that. Um, but yeah, thank you. I didn't expect to have a YouTube Thing going on but it seems people kind of enjoyed the video so hopefully I can make some videos and help people raise some awareness and please do leave a comment if you're thinking about it because I love reading them and replying to them so thank you and I shall see you in the next video